Doing aid work, I mean, it's amazing to do the traveling, sounds adventurous, but you also see the worst side of humanity. Yeah. Um, and having done, I think it kind of took a toll. I decided to take a break and decided that I would go diving. I had heard about this place called Kalipe from good friends of mine. It was in the southwest coast of uh, Thailand. When I got to the island, I was just blown away. Stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. It was paradise, literally the definition. It was the prettiest place I had ever been to in the world. I sat on the beach every day. I snorkeled and had booked a trip to do a diving excursion. Just a convenience store they had gone into to withdraw some funds for my diving excursion. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I've said this before, you ever get that creepy feeling somebody's watching you? After sunset, I started walking along the beach. Um, it was most of the area was lit, but there was a section of the beach probably a couple hundred million meters long that was unlit because they were rebuilding a new resort. Uh, I was approached by uh, a local guy. I, he went to reach towards me. Uh, what I thought was to grab my wallet. It was an aggressive move like this, and I remember spinning to turn my... Mm -hmm. to block him. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, that's the last thing I remember. Uh, I remember looking up at the stars lying on my back, mm -hmm. um, wide awake, fully conscious, mm -hmm. hearing the sounds of the waves, um, and not being able to move. But they had thrown me on a pile of seaweed, mm -hmm. and um, after that, all these little creatures started to come out of the uh, ocean, all these little crabs. and. Mm -hmm. Crazy things like that, and uh, I became a uh, Mandarin Buffet, right? You know, I had this incredible searing pain in my lower back, mm -hmm. right at the base, right, up, right, right in the lower base of my back, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, at this point I had no idea what was going on. Mm -hmm. And now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to die here. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I got amazing medical mm -hmm. within the big cities, but mm -hmm. the outlying cities within Thailand are still very developing because I have something called central cord syndrome. They brought in a surgeon, he examined me. They did send me for MR, an MRI and a CT scan. Doctor came back with his iPhone, I'll never forget it, and showed me and my C4 was in, I think, 12 or 13 pieces. So when they hit me, my neck was shattered and they compressed five and six. He says, your chances of living are very slim. But he says, I have to do this emergency operation on you. Because he said, you're going to die if I don't do this. Mm -hmm. And he, then he said, your chances of ever walking again will be yeah. nil. Mm -hmm. So I was then brought to right here to Toronto Lynnhurst mm -hmm. Center and began my journey. At that point, I was diagnosed, clearly defined as being what they call an incomplete quadriplegic mm -hmm. with central cord syndrome. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm unique in the sense that the level of my injury is a C4 with a compressed 5.6. Mm -hmm. In tech, reality is that level of injury, I shouldn't, the, the level of function is really, it's weird. I'm less than a small percentage of people that are able to actually walk. Uh, the occupational therapist and the physical therapist worked with me. Mm -hmm. But part of that journey is both physical and mental. So where Spinal Cord Injury Ontario really kicked in was sort of the mental side. Rehab getting me to the point where I can lift my hand, open that, I can use my finger mm -hmm. to touch. Mm -hmm. That was right here at Toronto Rehab. Uh, so I'm able to walk. I'm about to walk a 5K, mm -hmm. which is huge. I, I get up. Um, I can bend down and pick things up off the floor. Never could do that before. I'm able to lift my arm. I'm able to bring. Uh, Can you dress yourself? Uh, no. So I do need care in dressing and showering. Mm. Um, I have very limited range, um, you know, overhead or behind me. Mm -hmm. um, so the basic activities of daily living I do need help with. Uh, right now I'm up to 15 kilometers a week. Mm -hmm. So I generally do 3K walks every other day but then I'll push it. So right now, um, I'm up to three and a half, four K at mm -hmm. some point. So mm -hmm. five's gonna be a big challenge, but I know I'll do it. So I'm wearing, raising money for awareness for Spinal Cord Injury Ontario. Mm -hmm. Right now, funds are desperately needed to help further our program, especially um, in the peer support.
mm -hmm. um, in our regional services program. Mm -hmm. So uh, spinal cord injury gave to me, it's time for me to give back. You know, I, if I do stumble, I'll be there, my fiance will be there, my kids will be there, so mm -hmm. I'm not worried. My boys, if they have to, will carry me across the line, but I'm gonna finish that. Mm -hmm. Don't give up, because at the end of the day, there's a reward.